Hello everyone, happy Sunday and happy Father's Day to all the amazing men out there. All right, I wanna do a short video on how to diffuse an argument. I've got six steps that you can practice. So many of us are finding ourselves perhaps in more arguments than normal based on what is going on uh, in the external world and in our own internal world. So these are six steps that can perhaps help you as you, as you continue to navigate um, your own human journey. Okay, so imagine that you are having a conversation with someone and then the next thing you know, it's turned into an argument. You guys don't have the same views, you don't have the same opinions, you don't hold the same truths, right? And sometimes when we start to argue, it doesn't feel good, it's uncomfortable. Um, one person may be more aggressive than the other. One person may be calling the other person names or trying to force or convince the other individual to see it their way, right? Um, coerce them into believing what they're believing. If you're on the other end of that, right, you're trying to be coerced or bullied into believing something that isn't your truth, you're going to perhaps, you might kind of like sink in, get quiet, uncomfortable, um, start to sweat, right? It's not a comfortable thing for a lot of us when we find ourselves in an argument. And what happens is that we have this knee-jerk reaction to do a couple of things. One, we may get aggressive back or angry back, right? Knee-jerk reaction, we just start to argue. And then that's just a repetitive cycle of division and divide, um, and it gets nowhere, right? The other thing that may happen is that you silence yourself, right? And you don't speak up. Uh, perhaps you even agree just to kind of diffuse the situation um, or you may do something in between there. But we're capable as humans that are evolving into higher states of consciousness, we are capable of being able to navigate arguments, okay? And we can do it from a loving space from, and from a space where you don't have to create such angst and divide. All right, so here are the six steps, okay? As soon as you find yourself in an argument with somebody, all right, this takes a lot of observation, a lot of focus, meaning I'm aware of everything. First thing you wanna do before you react, okay, is you wanna pause for a moment and just take a breath, okay? This is hard for a lot of you because you wanna kind of knee jerk into the argument. Right? Someone's gonna say, how could you possibly think that? How could you possibly not understand this? How could you be so stupid, et cetera, et cetera? And your knee-jerk reaction is screw you, at la la la, right? Whatever you're gonna say. Pause for a moment. You can just stare at them for a second. Pause and take a breath. Because what that's gonna do, the pause and the breath is gonna move you into a moment where you can center, you can refocus, really important because you need to do the second step, which is observe the interaction. You have to be the observer. And the only way that you observe is that you pause and you step out of the argument for a moment. So as soon as you pause and breathe, become the observer. I am in an argument. I'm about to argue. I'm about to respond this way. This individual is responding this way. He or she is saying this. I'm starting to feel this, right? You become the observer. You snap out of zombie state. You snap out of unconsciousness. When you get into arguments, many times you are unconscious. You walk away from the argument and you're like, what the heck just happened? I have no idea, right? You get into this weird zombie state where you're not conscious of what is occurring. Third thing you wanna do after you start observing is you wanna feel. Now these are things that can happen instantaneously, okay? As, soon as, as long as you practice them, they happen instantaneously. So the third thing you wanna do is you wanna feel. What am I feeling right now? What am I feeling as I'm about to respond? What am I feeling as this individual is arguing with me? What am I feeling? You wanna get into the feeling because that's going to assist you in step number four and five. Feeling is everything because it allows you to navigate this. This is an energetic exchange. This is not a mental exchange. It's not a mind exchange. It's not a thought exchange. This is all an energetic exchange, so you have to feel. Step four, before you respond, listen to what they're saying. Okay, a lot of times we start to try to speak over them, yell over them, respond before they're done because we don't like what they're saying. We don't agree with what they're saying. 
If you can just listen, that's it. And as you're listening to what they're saying, you begin to empathize. Empathy is putting yourself in their shoes. Now, this is not easy, especially when you don't hold the same truth as them, but it's going to allow you to do step number five. So again, step four is listen to what they're saying and can you empathize with them? Wow, they're coming from dot, dot, dot. They're afraid or they are insecure around something or they don't believe that they have the ability to do these things or um, they're in a lack mentality or whatever it is that you're seeing in them or they may be seeing in you if they're listening to you, right? It may be the opposite. Either way, you want to be able to empathize and understand in some way, shape or form where they're coming from. It's massive. And then step five, you respond from a heart-centered place. So you respond not from a place of trying to convince or persuade, but you respond just stating your truth. This isn't about backing down necessarily and not speaking up. This is about speaking truth from a heart-centered space. How do you get into a heart-centered space? You feel compassion and empathy for the other individual. In the middle of an argument, if you can do step number four, no, 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 yeah, step number four, which is listening to the other person and empathizing with them, then you'll be able to do step number five, which is answering or responding from a heart-centered, compassionate, and empathic place. This takes practice, but we can all do this. We absolutely can. And so you say to them, I hear your truth. I hear your opinion. I get it. I understand where you're coming from. Here is my truth. Here is where I stand. As opposed to, I can't believe you think that. Why would you possibly think that I would do the exact same thing? This is what I think. Don't you understand this, 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 right? You're defensive. You're argumentative. You're putting up a, a wall, right? And you may even try to convince them. How could you be that way? How could you not understand? How could you not see? How could you not read? Blah, blah, blah. Instead, you do step number four, which is you're listening to them and you're empathizing. Wow, they're coming from dot, dot, dot. Wow, they're getting information from dot, dot, dot. Wow, they think dot, dot, dot. Okay. And then you respond with compassion and empathy. Here's my truth. Here is my truth. You will instantaneously diffuse the argument because they'll have nothing to come back at. You will instantaneously diffuse it as soon as you say, I hear you. I see your point. I understand where this is all coming from. And here's my truth. And you state it just like that. And then step number six, you repeat it all over again if you need to. Because humans aren't used to this sort of engagement. They're used to unconscious, zombie-like arguments. Fighting, anger, resentment, irritability, frustration. That's how people are arguing right now because there is so much trauma that is being released from the human body. There is so much trauma being released from the, the external world, the, the entire human collective right now. So again, step one, you pause and you breathe. Step two, observe the interaction you're in. Just observe it. Wow, I'm about to get into an argument. Wow, this person is about to come at me. Wow, I'm about to come at that person. Observe. I am about to do dot, dot, dot. I am doing dot, dot, dot. This person is doing dot, dot, dot. Three, feel it. What are you feeling? As soon as you become the observer, you'll be able to feel, oh my God, this feels uncomfortable. Oh my God, I'm so, I wanna run the other direction. Oh my God, I'm nauseous. I'm getting lightheaded. I'm getting sweaty. I'm getting angry. I'm getting irritable. I wanna yell at this person, right? As soon as you feel it, you can make a choice. Four, listen to what they're saying before you respond and use empathy. Why are they saying these things? Put yourself in their shoes. Listen and put yourself in their shoes. Five, respond from that heart-centered place. Respond from compassion and empathy. Don't try to change them. Don't try to persuade or convince them. You're just speaking your truth. Here is my truth. I'm listening to you. I understand and here is my truth. And then they're gonna get mad at you more or they may, it may just diffuse, right? And then, and then you repeat this again. If they still, still keep coming at you, right? And you repeat those again, those steps, and they still keep coming, you leave the situation perhaps, right? You walk away, right? 
You don't keep yourself in an environment that is hostile, that is abusive, that is, that is not healthy for you, right? None of us need to be in that, right? But if it is somewhat of a diffused situation, then you get to sit back and say, wow, look at how that unraveled. That was pretty miraculous. I was able to be in an argument and diffuse it by, and still stand side by side, right? We're not here to perpetuate divide. We're here to unify in our unique differences. We're here to unify in our unique differences, allow the differences to be while we continue to speak truth. I hope this was useful. I'll put those six steps down below. Remember, this is an energetic game. It's all energy. Every single argument that you have is energy. Look at it as energy and your whole world will change. It's not a mind game. It's not a uh, thought game. It is an energetic game. It's an energetic world. I love you.